Molly, Molly, say hi, Molly. Come here, Molly. Say good girl. See, there's the Molly. Molly says hi. Molly, say hi, Molly. Hi, Molly. There's the Molly. See, the good girl. See, this sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. See, this sweetheart. Okay, so, uh, my, it says I got a weak connection even though I'm on Wi-Fi and my 4G says, uh, full bars, so I don't know what the deal is with that. I'm sorry if I don't have a good connection and I'm in the middle of town, it doesn't, you know, it's weird, but anyway. I am at the hotel. Um, good evening. How are you? Hi, Regina. Uh, I'm at the hotel. I'm doing good. Um, my feet hurt. Molly's feet hurt. Um, this morning when we woke up, she wouldn't even stand up. She, I had to pick her up and carry her around. It wasn't until about noon um, when... Uh, our rescuer came and picked us up. Um, whose uh, whose name? I have such a horrible memory. I'll be right back. Um, but it wasn't until about noon when uh, Molly could get up and walk around. So, uh, yesterday, last night, I walked, it turned out with the, with the walking around, uh, that I had to do in the camp, in the campground itself, it was right at 19.4, 19 and a half, we're going to call it 20 miles, um, uh, we're going to call it 20 miles, Yesterday that I ended up walking in total um, to the campground, and uh, you know I've walked 20 miles before, but this was for some reason the hardest distance I've had to do yet. And it's not for some reason. I know exactly why. It was because it was 90 something degrees yesterday. Um, absolutely miserable uh, humidity was super high um, I think I used like half of my baby powder just to keep my lay my inside of my thighs from melting Molly could could you not fellace yourself in front of the entire group of people thank you um, it keeps getting blurry because it's a bad connection for some reason. I don't I don't know why that is. Um, we're all just gonna have to deal with it. I'm sorry. Um, I tried doing just Wi-Fi and uh, it, it wouldn't even it wouldn't even start. So I had to connect to the uh, or not Wi-Fi uh, my mobile data. So now I'm stuck um, here uh, on Wi-Fi. But anyway. Uh, so we walked like 20 miles yesterday total. Um, I really wasn't that bad off for it, but Molly just seemed really hot, really lethargic on, on especially later in the day. Molly, Molly, I'm, I'm going to ask you again to stop licking your hoo-ha on camera, please. Thank you. Um, she, she's like, sorry, daddy. So, um... Uh, she just seemed like it was hurting her. I, I think I made the decision yesterday while uh, going live that uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes for the next few walks until uh, my mom and dad get here and until Cody get here uh, or get to wherever I'm at. Um, 
to see if I'm going to try to continue with her. I, I really don't want it to cause, I don't want to cause Molly a lot of pain. Uh, I'm going to try walking her, and the next time we go on a walk, I'm going to walk her with her boots all day and see how that, that goes. Um, she, um, after about noon today, she was able to walk around, and then we've, there was a lot of events, I guess, here in town, so the hotel was completely sold out, um, and check-in is officially isn't until 4, so when a hotel room's checked, uh, completely sold out like that, you can't even check in, at least this one, until 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so I got dropped off here at about uh, noon, I think, and basically, uh, they have these really very comfortable chairs in the lobby and after I checked in uh, with the lady downstairs I had to sit in the chair until about 2.45 before they let me come to the room um, because they had so many rooms to clean so I finally got in the room about 2.45 I don't, I don't remember coming in the door I don't know what the front of the hotel right here looks like um, I have no memory of coming in the door I have no memory of, of choosing which bed I was sleeping in. Um, I just remember my alarm waking me up at um, 6.45. Like, hey, you got to go live. So uh, apparently I needed to sleep. Uh, Molly, I woke up. Molly was in the exact same position she was in whenever uh, whenever I fell asleep. So she, she must have slept hard too. Uh, last night when we got to the campground we we got to the campground there's a, there's a picnic table in every campground we got i sat down at our picnic table and it was like as i was going like that then rain went and there was nothing i could do if i had even attempted to put the tent up i would have become extreme i would have gotten soaked the tent would have gotten soaked molly would have gotten soaked so I just grabbed the cart real quick, and we, the bathroom was right across the parking lot from us. Uh, we ran across the parking lot. Um, the bathroom consisted of, of four full separate bathrooms that you could lock from the inside, uh, shower, a shower sink, uh, a bench, and a toilet. Uh, so I made it into one of them. And I, I locked it from the inside, and I used some of my dirty clothes to dry up the floor because the floor was soaking wet from from people using the shower and from rain coming in the door. Uh, and uh, Mo I pulled Molly's bed off of the cart and threw it on the floor. Um... Uh, threw it on the floor so she could get some sleep, and uh, I tried to sleep on the floor, but it was cold, cold concrete, the air conditioner, when the bathroom would turn on and off randomly, the lights would turn on and off randomly, it was all motion sensor, I guess, so every time I'd roll over, uh, the fan had a hum to it, a really loud noise, so every time I'd roll over, the fan would turn on and wake me up. So I got like no sleep, maybe an hour total uh, all night. Uh, it sucked. It sucked bad. So I, hi honey. So I, uh, this morning I got up, well, no, let me, let me backtrack a little bit. At about one o'clock in the morning, it stopped raining. Uh, so I, I went outside pulled my tent out of, or I, I took the whole cart outside, I pulled the tent out of my cart, um, I put my tent up, um, I had, I got the tent up, I got the tarp pinned from the edge of the tent down to the ground so that Molly would have like a big lean-to area under the tent to sleep, um, because it's a hammock tent. And uh, no sooner did I finish than it started raining again really hard. Um, I had mud. My shoes were completely soaked. I had mud up to halfway up my shins. 
Uh, Molly was drenched. Her bed was drenched. Um, my clothes were soaked. My sleeping bag was soaked. I pushed the cart up underneath my tent as far as I could to try to keep everything as dry as I could. Uh, to no avail. And uh, we ran back to the bathroom because I wasn't going to get in my tent soaking wet and try to sleep. I'd freeze, you know. You know how to you, even if it's not freezing cold, if you're wet and you try to sleep outside, you can get hypothermia. So um, I wasn't too worried about the hypothermia. I was just worried about being miserable. So we went back to the bathroom. Um, I took Molly's bed and all of my clothes that I had on. Uh, off and I turned on the hand dryer um, and you know and hand dryer is motion sensitive so I'm sitting there like this underneath the hand dryer for probably an hour drying my clothes drying my socks drying Molly's bed I dried Molly's bed first uh, so she could get a bed to sleep on um, I think I burned out the hand dryer because after about after once I was toward the end there, it stopped blowing out hot air. It just burned out or blew out cold air. Um, but my cart was still outside. Um, luckily, the box, uh, the what I call the trunk, was closed and latched, so water didn't get into it. But um, the lid for the bucket was just sitting on there because I had fed Molly when we first got there. Uh, and I don't know if they were squirrels or a raccoon or a possum, some critter with fingers like a human's. I'm thinking raccoon, but it was they were small. They're smaller. They're like squirrel size. Um, got into the bucket. Uh, drug everything that was in the bucket out, all of my food, all of Molly's food, out onto the ground. Then it rained all over it, so most of Molly's food got ruined. Um, I don't think any of my food got ruined because it was all in sealed packages, like tuna packages and stuff like that. But uh, it was spread all over the ground the next morning when I went out there. Um, uh, the tarp had blown off, so everything, all of my clothes and everything were soaking wet. Um... My first aid kit, I opened my first aid kit up and water poured out of it, but all of my medicine bottles in there were, were sealed good, so none of my none of my meds got wet. Um, uh, the cart fell over in the middle of the night and crushed my, um, uh, my phone mount on the flagpole. Uh, I couldn't even find the flag at first because the water had washed so much mud over the flag on the ground that it was like camouflaged in the ground so I, I you know I pulled that up I washed the flag off as good as I could um, I, I'll need to wash it again so last night um, you know long story short was kind of misery um, then uh, my wife Cody and my Aunt Marie and um, probably my mom and my dad, everybody around there, my sister Janice, they were all doing everything they could to find me a ride out of there because they knew I was miserable. They knew I was wet and sleeping on the bathroom floor in a campground. Um, and, you know, nothing, nothing, nobody could, nobody was available to come get me, but everybody was helping. There was a huge amount of support online. I appreciate all of that from all of you. Um, that that helped spread the word to help try to get me a ride out of there. I really appreciate that. Finally, this morning, uh, a, a very nice man saw one of my posts for help that somebody had posted on um, on a Facebook page called uh, Tennessee Marines, and saw that. Uh, that I would needed assistance, um, and uh, he's such a great guy. He came and got me. His name was uh, Daniel Weissen. I hope I'm saying that right. W I or W Y S O N G Weissen Weissen Weissen. Uh, really cool guy. Um, 
Uh, apparently he skipped church to come help me. Uh, and I asked, I asked him about that, and he was like, listen, I don't think that God wants me to sit in a building and sing praise to him when I could be out doing his work. So, I, you know, I can understand that point of view. Um, so he, he felt that it was he was being more godly coming and helping me than, than sitting in church. Um, but his sister had, what was going to sing that morning. So before he brought me to the hotel, I agreed to, you know, to just hang out in his car while he went to church real quick to catch his sister sing. Uh, which was only for the second time, I, apparently. Uh, me and Molly took a little snooze in the car while he was inside uh, the church. Uh, and he was probably only in there for 15 minutes or so. Got to see his sister. This was all real good timing. Took me to uh, uh, Wendy's. Um, guy saw my sh Another guy saw my shirt. Uh... I, at first, we were kind of, me and Daniel were not really arguing, but debating over who was going to pay for lunch. Um, I felt I owed it to him for coming and getting me. He felt he wanted to buy it because, uh, you know, that's that he was helping me out, so he was trying to help me out to the fullest. Um, and the guy behind us saw my shirt and um, insisted on paying for both of our meals, so that was pretty cool. Um, him and his wife. So uh, then uh, directly after that, we got to the hotel room, and um, I checked in. The lady here, very nice lady. She's very matter-of-fact. Um, we had a, I'm going to call it a discussion over ADA laws, uh, the way the law is written. Uh, no, no facility, no public facility that caters to the public um, is allowed to even ask for proof that the dog, that any dog is a service animal, especially if they're wearing a vest. Um, but she was told by her district manager that any service animal that comes in must show proof that it's a service animal uh, through paper documentation uh, or it could mean her job and her whole point of view on it which I totally understand was anybody off the street could come in and say that their dog was um, a service animal and get their dog into a non-pet room for free And not, but you know my point of view on it is the way that it's written if the animal is wearing a vest he's in uniform and doesn't require proof and there's only two questions you can ask you can ask um, uh, what duties the dog can perform but you're not allowed to ask the dog to perform the duties and is the dog a service animal and those are the only two questions that anybody is ever legally allowed to ask you about your service animal in reference to you um, having the animal in the building with the exception of the airline. The airline can ask for uh, paper documentation. And this is, apparently is a big back and forth in the courts still to this day um, because you have laws that protect your personal rights as in not divulging what's wrong with you medically. You don't have to do that and by getting all this information about your service dog um, you divulge what's wrong with you, what's wrong with you, the person. And then also the companies need to be covered from breakage and theft and all that stuff. Or not theft, but damages um, by the dog. So, you know, it was, just, it was a discussion that we had back and forth. I do have proof that Molly is a service animal. I showed her the proof, and that was all that she required. She was nice enough to and willing to sit there and let me read to her and show her the ADA laws um, on on the internet about how she technically was breaking the law by by making me show her proof. Uh, but I can understand her point of view. It's her job on the line. She's just the desk lady. So she's a nice lady. Um, she uh, got 
the maid, the I don't like calling them maids, the people who clean the room to come clean this room first so that I could get in here because I was I was falling asleep in the lobby and I'm sure I was snoring because I'm a big snore guy. Um, but anyway, uh, we are in the room. We are healthy. Molly still can't walk very well. Um, I paid for two nights, uh, tonight and tomorrow night, for recoup. I think that both of us need it. Um, it's been two months of wear and tear on our bodies, on on except for a couple rain days, on pretty much every single day. Um, my dad is calling me. My dad is trying to call me. Can somebody tell him that I'm live right now? Um. So. Uh, yeah, anyway, two months of wear and tear on my body, on Molly's body. Um, I, I need a little bit of recuperation. Um, so I'm going to take today and tomorrow, well, the rest of today, it's over, all day tomorrow and probably the next day and do nothing except maybe sightsee a little bit because there's uh, like a big underground waterfall here in Chattanooga called uh, Ruby Falls and um, and then there's a mountain called Rock City uh, that uh, apparently there's a specific view on top of Rock City where on a clear day you can see seven different states um, it's the only place in America like that I guess so I'm going to I, I don't want to miss that. I I missed Chimney Rock. Instead of spending, uh, you know, 20 or 30 minutes to find somebody to drive me up there so I could walk the rest of the way, you know, I just walked on past it and I missed it. And all the pictures that I see of it are just spectacular. And I don't want to miss, I don't want to miss another spectacular view. I went over the mountains and I saw a lot of beautiful views, but I never saw that ah, view that I was looking for, you know, um, and I know it was up there. There's two or three places where, uh, where I could have taken a day off and gone to it, but instead I was mission, 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 walk, 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 ten miles, ten miles, ten miles, ten miles. Um, and I, I, I kind of, I, I sort of got to the point to where I forgot to smell the roses a little bit on this thing. So um during my recoup i might be in chattanooga until friday because it's supposed to rain again wednesday and thursday um, um but if i am here that long i don't think that's going to be a big deal uh for the mission that's actually going to give me more time to talk to people and i'm going to sightsee a little bit um maybe not tomorrow but the next day um you know i've got the cash to go ahead and do it uh in the bank um, my wife's gonna come up and see me in a week or so uh, it just it just uh, it's time for me to take a little break so um, uh, Cody just put on here her mom and dad are gonna come too that's cool so um, we all get to, to hang out and visit a little bit uh, maybe they'll help with the hotel bill um, so yeah I'm gonna go see a couple of attractions um, tomorrow, if Molly's feet are up to it, I'm going to put her boots on her, and she's going to wear her boots from now on, especially on hot days. Uh, I promise you people that um, I feel so bad about the way that she's hurting right now. I, it's completely my fault for walking her so hard. Um, I, I could have any at any point yesterday uh, called a taxi or an Uber or flag someone down or even called the police or somebody to help me out and I didn't. I just kept pushing and kept pushing until we got there. I didn't realize that it was going to affect her the way it did. Uh, uh, I haven't, I, I don't know, I don't think it was the heat of the ground that hurt her feet. I checked out her feet, I looked at them just a few minutes ago her her paws look perfect. They look fine. I think I just walked her really hard, um, too far, too long. Um, so I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. Um, Cody put. We have learned that boots on a hot day is not good for her. Well, I don't know. 
What is your name, Joe's aunt? Uh, my aunt's name is Marie Baker. Um, yeah, the boots are the right size. They're they're pretty much the perfect size. Um, but that being said, they're made out of you know a waterproof canvas and black rubber. They're not they're not you know they don't have technology in them like our shoes do. They don't they're not designed for the contours of the feet. They literally look like swimming fins. Um, I can't get to them right now, but you know they're about that long, uh, about that wide, and they're flat. So the the paw goes in there, and then when they walk, it bends the bends it flat, you know, and it just looks like they looks like they're walking with swimming flippers on a little bit. Um, Cody says the animal nurse said it was because they're plastic; it holds in and does not allow the animals to sweat out of her feet. It could overheat her. Oh, well. Like I said, I keep her in the grass anyway. I like it. I don't think it was from heat. I think I walked her too hard. Um, cause she doesn't, she's not like tender footed. She's like, like everything hurts the way she moves, you know? So, um, I'm just going to take better care of her. Uh, we'll see how she does. I think that I am going to be walking near Murfreesboro. I need to check the maps. I don't know that for sure. I'll get that answer back out to you. Um, uh, Thomas, I am in uh, a hotel in um, just outside of uh, Chattanooga. Or I'm in Chattanooga City Limits, but I'm outside of the, the main city. Um, due to the fact that in the past one or two people have um, taken advantage of the fact that my location is public I am no longer telling people where I'm at until the day I leave that way um, it, it, it's a little ner unnerving when you show up at your hotel and somebody's sitting there waiting for you whether their intentions be good or not it's, it's a little unnerving so I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna tell anybody specifically where I'm at until I leave. Um, so anybody else that's on here who happens to know where I'm at, please don't divulge that information either. Uh, it's a good hotel. It's in a good neighborhood. I'm safe. I'm dry. I'm warm. Um, another veteran outreach program yesterday. Or not yesterday, this morning. Sorry, I, I slept for six hours, so everything seems like yesterday. Um, called me while I was at Wendy's today, and they want to donate $100 to me in person so they can do a meet and greet with pictures and all that. And we're going to do that tomorrow. Um, so that's cool. Uh, they want, they, they're they trying to spend all kinds of money on me. They wanted to buy me new shoes and, and resupply me, uh, give me a tent. Um they're, I think they're going to buy uh, Molly a bunch of food and I kept telling her, I was like thank you so much for your appreciation, your willingness and desire to help it's great, it's exactly what I need but I am stocked and I appreciate that But so they, they were like okay well we're going to give you 100 bucks cash then and I said that sounds fantastic thank you very much uh, I'll put it in the account um, to go toward the to go toward the uh, cause um, so that's cool and then uh, uh, I actually my alarm went off and I ignored it so my wife calling me is actually what woke me up in time to do the video today and uh, she said there's a bunch of people online that are asking me questions trying to find out if I'm okay that need an update well here's your update I'm good my feet hurt my back hurts but I'm better I'm dry um, Molly's good and uh, I have to event. I have to get up and and answer some people on there that I guess want interviews. Um, you know, th this this is where the work is starting now. Um, two months in, and finally, I'm doing something other than just walking, um, which I knew was coming. I knew I was going to have to start doing interviews and keeping track of people and things and names and dates and all that. Uh, and I think I've been doing better. 
Uh, I do have a notebook. I write things down now. I write people's names down. Uh, I collect I collect business cards so that I can remember people's names. I keep all the business cards in one place um, so that at the end of the walk I can do a huge thank you letters and stuff for people. <coughs> because, you know, not to say that uh, that uh, Daniel Weissen saved my life today, but uh, it's raining again right now, so it's it's one of those things to where I would be in the bathroom again, miserable again, um, closer to that mental breakdown stage that that I think is what I and and my home team are more worried about than physical. They know I'm going to be okay physically. Um, but nobody wants me to get to a, a, a low spot with uh, the fact that I have PTSD in my history, and and uh, and I think that's what everything is is trying to go toward. On that is keeping my spirits high, which they are. I am still very optimistic about the mission. Uh, I'm optimistic about the walk. Uh, I'm not as optimistic about Molly making it all the way, but you know it's it's. Uh, that's fine. I would rather her not be able to have bragging rights about walking across the U.S. and and be safe and warm at home with feet that don't hurt than to push her and cause permanent damage. Uh, she's she's my top priority while I'm out here. Um, and that's about it. I, I just I want her to be okay. Um, so there's a restaurant called the City Cafe Diner, uh, of course it's backwards, uh, here downstairs they have Italian, Greek, uh, subs, all kinds of stuff, that's probably my dinner, I get a 10% discount for being military, and an additional 10% discount if I show them my room key, um, because they're connected to the hotel, so... Um, yummy. I'm going to go eat because I haven't eaten much today. I think Molly would be able to make it with me. Um, you can see her. She's on the bed there. She's still just in total recuperate mode. Molly! Molly Holly! <whistles> Hi, Molly, sweetheart. How do you feel? I'll get you some dinner in a minute, okay? I promise. Um, so, I get these little messages across my screen. Um, say stuff like, um, 100 comments this video, you know, and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it the other day. I think it was the day before yesterday. It was the, This was the 100th live video since I started, which is pretty cool. Um, but that's about it um, Chattanooga is a pretty cool uh, place to visit so I'm going to visit some of those pretty cool places uh, their pool is open here they have a hot tub here oh my gosh it sounds so good to go sit in a hot tub I think I'm going to do it um, I'm going to go check out some of the uh, some of the sites tomorrow if Molly's feet are up to it if not I'll do it the next day uh, then my plans for the future after that are to, after I'm done recouped and after um, uh, after Molly feels good and I, all, everything is dry, clean, and not mildewy and stinky anymore, I'm going to head start heading up toward uh, Nashville. Um, I'm excited about that. It's going to be about two weeks, I think, a week and a half, two weeks before I'm there. And I'll be, able, me and my mom uh, are going to walk the a big portion of the Natchez Trace down into Mississippi to my sister's house. Um, my mom's uh, 72, so that'd be awesome. Uh, I'm I'm willing to see how far she's gonna make it. I think I think she'll probably outwalk me most days. Uh, but that sounds like fun. I'll have company on the road for a while. Uh, when Cody and the boys are here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do some walking. I think. But I think we're going to do a lot of driving uh, and sightseeing while they're here because I don't want my kids to be too bored. 
Um, it is their summer break after all, and uh, and I know that they'll be happy enough just to see me, but uh, it'll be cool to go see some sights, and then uh, and that might all end up with me being in uh, in. Uh, where's that weird noise again? Sounds like a phone. It goes doo -doo -doo -doo, and then that stops. Just one time. Maybe it's the refrigerator. But uh, my visit with uh, my wife and the boys will probably end with me being in Nashville ready to walk with my mom. Um, and then it'll be on. Uh, after that walk, then I, I have uh, Texas. Uh, Dallas will be my next uh, big stop. And then after that, I, I like I said, I, I think I got to the point to where I wasn't smelling the roses. So I, I'm, I'm back on track. I, I think I, I do want to go to Colorado Springs and see the Garden of the Gods. Um, and I do want to go, uh, to see the, uh, the cave dwellings in, uh, Arizona. I want to see the Grand Canyon. So, um, so that's everything, guys. Um, that's about as thorough of an update as I can do at this point. Um, I do have dog food. Don't bring me dog food. <laughs> It, not all of it got stolen by the raccoon or squirrels and not all of it got soaking wet um, uh, I'm not going to accept dog food anymore from people unless um, we're totally out and Molly's starving because I still don't know when she's going to go home and the different br different brands of dog food that people bring me are upsetting her stomach a little bit some days she has constipation some days she has diarrhea in it um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put her through that anymore. I'm just gonna give her the same dog food I always give her. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I love you all. Thank you very much. I'm gonna get off of here. I'm gonna go take a shower, and then I'm gonna get something to eat. The restaurant's 24 hours, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I have totally ignored all of your comments today. Uh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'll go back, and if you've asked me any questions that weren't answered by somebody else, uh, then uh, then I'll, I'll try to answer them for you. Uh, but I'm going to take a shower, uh, go get something to eat, get on the phone with my family, and then I'll start answering questions and, and reviewing things on the page. Um, Thank you for all the hearts, guys. Thank you very much, honey. I love you. Thank you, everybody. Um, this, again, the support's been un uncanny. It's just super cool. Thank you so much. Uh, I love all you guys. Uh, if you know veterans, make sure you call them uh, occasionally. Make them smile. Um, that's about it. I love you guys. Deuces.